Hey guys, back with the Blu-rays. Because I am not done yet. <laughs> and now we're on to S. If I get all S and at least some of T today. We'll start off with the Sandlot. Now this one was in the 90s. And it's about a bunch of kids who play baseball in a field behind so a man's house who has a dog they call the Beast. And it's got James Earl Jones. Cannot go wrong with him. It's a cute little movie. If you get a chance, you should watch it. Now, scary movie. Good spoof. I'm just not sure if it's the best one of those scary movies, but it is a good one. And it started a lot of new spoofs. Scary movie. I also have Scary Movie 2, which is more of a spoof of Haunt or the, the Haunting movie. With some Charlie Angels and some other stuff. But it's a good one. Scary Movie 3.5, the unrated version. The original one's not of this version one is not that great, but the extended is good. So, if you get a chance, watch that. Next, I have Scooby Doo. Grew up on Scooby Doo, and while the live action wasn't the best, it was still pretty funny. It shows Scrappy Doo as a bad guy. Next, I have Scrooged with Bill Murray. Now, this one, hysterical. And um, the fairy in it, she's just great. She beats him up with a toaster. <laughs> so, definitely one worth watching. Especially for Christmas. Then I have Serenity. The still cut, or not still, still book version. So, if you get a chance, watch it. It's good sci fi, futuristic. What happens if we move beyond Earth? And it's also based off the TV series Firefly. It's pretty much their series ending. So, yeah, if you ever watch Firefly or Serenity, Next, I have Seventh Son. Not the best one movie I've ever seen. But still okay if you like those kind of fantasy movies. And if you didn't know, it has Kit Harrington in the beginning. So if you want a brief part with him. Jeff Bridges, Julianne Moore. So it's got a lot of good people in it. Next, I have Star Trek. Oh, I think I got out of order. <laughs> yeah, I did. Oh, so next, Spaceballs. Or Space... Space Invaders, sorry. And this one was the last movie I saw before I moved out of California. At least in the theaters. And it's funny. It's a good kids movie. It's about aliens who come to Earth investigating the War of the Worlds broadcast. And they happen to do it on Halloween night. It's really funny. It has some great scenes. And kind of shows what aliens might think of us. Then I have Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. When I was a kid, it was only in theaters every four years. It was not out on DVD, Blu-ray, or VHS, or whatever it was when you were a kid. It was only in theaters, because that's how Walt Disney wanted it. But now we can actually have it at home. Which probably would 
have been a bad idea in the sense of it would have cost people to go to theaters every four years if they kept it. Yeah. But it was the first Disney movie ever. Walt Disney movie. Cart animated movie. And a classic. And my favorite dwarf is Grumpy. And I have Sleeping Beauty. The Diamond Edition. This is actually my favorite Disney movie. So, uh, if you know Sleeping Beauty, you know, she gets put under her curse to sleep for a hundred years, but her prince was able to save her in one night. It's a good one. It was underrated when it first came out, but it's my favorite. Next, I have Sleepy Hollow. Special book edition. Uh, this is came out, I think, in 2000? Or 1999, sorry. And it's a good movie. It's a great, interesting twist on the Sleepy Hollow story. And... Got Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci. It's a really good movie. Just gotta remember who played the guy, but good movie. And finally, Star Trek, the nineteen or two thousand nine one. My dad, huge Star Trek fan, he raised me on it. And he said they actually did really well at the cast. They played them perfectly. So, uh, yeah. It's a great remake of it. They did their own storyline. So that's always good. Next, I have Star Trek Into Darkness. With the card! I'm kind of glad they did not have him say that in this one. I don't think Chris Pine would have done it quite as well as William Shatner. But still good. Benedict Cumberbund was really good with Khan. Made him creepy. And they had a triple. I love the triples. My favorite episode of Star Trek was the triples. Next, I have a box set of the prequel Star Wars. And Star Wars is my favorite movies. This one's got The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. And while the prequels were not as good as the originals, come on, Yoda. But, um, Attack of the Clones is the worst, I have to admit, of the three. But, yeah, had the prequels. Can't go without the original three. A New Hope, The Emperor Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. And, um, used to watch these every Christmas. Every Christmas. Especially when it was on TV, I'd sit there for, like, eight hours or so watching them. Thankfully, my parents were okay with that. <laughs> Watch the original. The last of the S's is Suicide Squad. Unrated cut. Or extended cut. I kind of like those wacky underrated movies. So this one's good. And these guys actually did really well together. And so, so it was confusing. And I don't know why they had certain characters. If they were just going to kill them off quickly. Well, I have time to do some of the teas, so I will do some of those. Oh, I forgot a less. Swat. Colin Farrell, Samuel Jackson, L. O. Cool J, Michelle Rodriguez, uh, Jeremy Ritter. This has a lot of good actors. 
So we've got Oliver Martinez, who I believe was married to Halle Berry. Come on, somebody else, Jackson. How wrong can you go? Now on to tease. Tangled. Great Rapunzel movie. Kids love it. Adults like it. Gotta love the horse. He's just funny. Him and Ryder have... They're just great together. So, for a kid's movie, really good. Next, I have a triple feature of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Definitely my generation. And they're really good. And my favorite character is Mikey. And the third one has another one of my favorite lines, which is about his horse not having a head. Watch it to find out exactly what it means, why he said that. But they're really good. You can definitely tell it was a 90s movies with people in suits instead of digital stuff. Really good movies. Then I have the remake. From 1990 or 2014. A good movie. And has probably my niece and nephew's favorite line with Donatello going, Oh my gosh, they have guns! But it's funny. Not the best. And they could have done better with April and Ill. Like I said, Megan Fox is not the greatest actress. But still, the gym is okay. Here's another Japanese anime with. Sabasa, or Sabu, Sabusa. It's got the Tokyo Revelations and Spring Thunder Chronicle, which this is based off of a comic, and it, they did make a TV series of it. If you ever heard of the show Card Captors, this is similar to it. It's basically them in an alternate world thing, and they go through alternate worlds. They actually have a little crossover briefly in this one. And if you like Japanese anime, it's a good one to try. Yeah, my Terminator movies got mixed up. Okay. So, next I have the original Terminator. Started the whole Terminator craze, and it's a good movie. Because robots take it over the world, which is probably where a lot of people got their paranoia from. And back when Arnold Schwarzenegger didn't have to say much during his movies. I got Terminator 2, Skynet Edition, the sequel. And I believe it has the extended version of it. It has a little more scenes. It does bring back Kyle Reese from the first one. So, yeah. have Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. Where it does not have Sarah Connor in it at all. But still okay. Still good. Terminator Salvation, Director's Cut, which also has a theatrical. And it's not the best, but it depends on if you think it's the worst or not. But it's not the best. Then I have Terminator Genesis. Well, definitely not the best. It's one that kind of grows on you. Yeah. So there's my Terminator movies. I have Tinkerbell Secret of the Wings. Grew up on Peter Pan. So I like Tinkerbell, and I like how she gets a sister in this one, and it's really good. And it's got Angelica Houston and Timothy Dalton, so they're really good. Okay, and this will be my last one for this video. We have Tinkerbell and the Never Beasts, which... Tinker Bell, it's really good and kind of sad at the end, even though nobody dies. It's 
the never beast going back in the sleep and it's kind of sad still cute movie good for kids but that's the end of those ones for today i still have more for next time so i will see you next time bye